welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much to those of you who have watched my previous videos. If you're new here and you haven't seen them, go back and watch them. Um, and also, if you subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot. So this is my fourth vlog, and I am really excited to share this vlog with you. It was meant to be on a completely different topic, and then this happened. I have just been informed that I will need to isolate for a number of days because I've come in contact with someone with COVID. So this news came as quite a shock, but it came from my NHS track and trace app. Just had to stay in my room for a couple of days. Maybe I'll do a vlog. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do a vlog of my time in isolation. I think it's quite important because it means that I have a goal set. Keep vlogging during my time in isolation. It keeps my mind off the fact that I'm stuck in a room, but also maybe it can help if any of you end up in isolation, any sort of positive lessons, takeaways that I find during my time, you may relate to. Isolation can be a real difficult experience. I live in a halls of residence and a number of residents have had to isolate, have really struggled with isolation. It can be lonely. I personally don't believe isolation is something to fear and I wanna see what happens during my isolation period and share that with you. I've been thinking, I mean, how can I make this isolation more productive, more positive, where I'm not desperately counting down the days waiting to be released? I decided to take a lie in today, that's why I'm still in bed at nine o'clock. And I came up with three principles that I can abide by to try and help make this a positive one. <laughs> to timetable out my day as in as much detail as possible. Writing down a list of what I want to do at exact times. So from eight to nine, from nine to 10. I think this will help me because it'll allow me to ensure that my day is fully packed with things to do. This will mean I'm less likely to get to a point in the day where I'm like, I'm so bored and start thinking about being free. <laughs> My second sort of principle that I want to follow is to ensure that I exercise as much as I do, if not more, than when I'm not isolated. Yes, I know I can't do the same exercise as I'm in confinement of a room. I can't go for runs, of course. I can do many other exercises. I have access to the internet. I have access to a floor and I have access, fortunately, to some weights. I will try and exercise at the same time schedule that I usually exercise. That will help me because it will allow me to carry on work knowing that I'm going to still do these fun periods of exercise. Third core principle that I will try and do is to have a healthy timetable of talking to people in the outside world. Video calling, phoning, friends and family is really important of course so that you know that you're not alone. These are the three sort of things that I will try and do to make sure that this experience a positive one. I have no idea how this isolation period will actually be whilst I'm being quite optimistic about this. I mean, I'm only human at the end of the day and I know many, many people have struggled with being in isolation. So we shall see. It'll be a really interesting thing to vlog, to look back on at the end of my time in isolation. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Today is Wednesday. We're a couple days into isolation. I thought it was a really good idea to do a sort of day in the life of isolation section of this vlog. Follow me through the day. So it's 8 a.m. and I start the morning with a bit of exercise and then I go on to having breakfast, which of course being stuck in my room, I just eat craves and milk. Um, then I prepare for my 10 a.m. lecture. This one was on psychoanalysis and psychotherapy and it was very interesting and that lasted an hour. Um, after the lecture, I did a bit of YouTube editing and then it was time for lunch. I was kind of bored of eating just cold lunch being stuck in my room, so I decided to try and cook some pasta by just boiling the kettle and adding it to this tortellini that I had. And funnily enough, it turned out quite nice, especially after adding cheese because cheese makes everything nice. After lunch, I had a nap, did a bit of work and did some Just Dance as a substitute for my body combat exercise. Then it was time for dinner, which we get delivered to the room. And then time for my social aspect of the day, which is a quiz, uh, which I really enjoyed. Um, obviously, I was actually playing the quiz at the time, so I didn't actually film it. But this is just me filming a quiz by myself uh, using the Kahoot platform that we use, which has many uh, pre-prepared quizzes to do. After Kahoot, I just did a bit of work and then I went to sleep. Hey everyone, it's Thursday evening and I'm nearly finished my time in isolation. I thought I'd just do a quick last video just to reflect on my time 
in isolation. Overall, I would say it's been uh, quite a positive experience given the nature of being stuck in a small room for so long. And I think that's really due to sticking to those three core principles that I set out at the start of having a strict schedule, uh, which has always kept me sort of preoccupied with doing things, ensuring I exercise and keeping myself physically and mentally active has really helped. I mean, the days have flown by for me. That's been quite a positive thing. Of course, I'm not endorsing staying in isolation. It's not the best experience ever. And there are many things that I miss. And as much as I hate to say this, I actually miss cooking. I normally say that I hate cooking, but yeah, I do miss being in the kitchen and actually doing some cooking. And of course I miss seeing people face to face and going outside and doing some running and all my body combat sessions and all that stuff. Overall, it has been a generally positive experience um, considering the situation I'm in. If you are ever in isolation, I would recommend doing these three things that I've done that have helped me out significantly. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, I would be delighted if you hit the subscribe button.